Hi and welcome to our toilet. This is our compost toilet and this is where we poop, yes. Our toilet consists of a compost bucket and a lid just like you guys have at home. It's not smelly, Luke just had a big poo this morning in it. Just two seconds ago actually and it's fine. And all you have to do is once you poo, you grab a handful of sawdust, put it over it and you're ready. No wasting of water and no waiting for it to flush and maybe it doesn't go down there. No splashings. It is perfect. And I love this compost toilet and I don't really go out much, but when I go somewhere and I have to use the bathroom, I feel weird now. We don't pee in here. We use our pee for the garden, for the trees, as soon as it comes out fresh out of our bodies. Pee is really good for the garden. As long as you don't pee directly onto things, that's not good for the plants, but you've got to dilute it. We use it on the trees and we use it on veg veggies like aubergines and tomatoes. Four good reasons why you should have a compost toilet if you can. One, your waste is not waste anymore. It doesn't go into the sea and you get to use it. But you do have to have place for it. Um, two, I feel like it's much cleaner. And you get to see your poop as you do it and you see if you're healthy or not. I think more, a lot of people do this. Maybe you don't like the, maybe you don't like talking about the subject of poo, but when the doors are closed, you do check it to make sure that everything's okay, don't you? Well, you should if you don't. And the number three, why I like this system so much. Three is there's no splashings, so it just goes. It, your poo just falls onto a nice soft surface, and that's it. You cover it and leave. And you do not waste water. Four things that I love about having a compost toilet. So follow me and I am going to show you how we clean the mouth and it's a very easy simple process. Albeit at first it's a tiny bit smelly but that's normal. First we empty out our buckets into our compost bins. Luke has already pre-emptied all the buckets for me so I am pretending to do it because if I did this on camera you would be hearing a lot of oohs and ahs and a lot of pu's. <laughs> but they are pretty he heavy so the, the fuller the bins get the higher you have to hold them and the harder it gets for me to empty them out myself. These cubes are lined with black plastic and a spout at the front. So any leaching goes into these containers and not into the ground where it contam contaminate the groundwater. It takes a, around a year to fill up one of these bins, a year to compost and a year to cure it. So when this last one is full, we can harvest the first one and start all over again. So once all the buckets are empty, I use sticks to even it out and then I can just throw them into the bins too. And now it's time to put water in the buckets and give them the first rinse. So I shall delicately pour it into the bucket. Swish them around a little bit and empty them out into the bin. With the second wash I add liquid soap to the water. And this time I give it a very good scrubbing with the broom. I give the lids just a rinse too but I will disinfect them later. I used to use a hard brush because I thought it was better, but it wasn't because it doesn't get into every nook and cranny. So now I use a soft brush, which I feel is, does the job much better. But if I did have a suggestion, because this is something that we would have changed, our bins have a very small rim, smaller than the, the width of the bucket. If you can find a rim that's the size of the bucket, so when you turn it around, the poo just comes out instead of having to shake it around, it is much, much better. But we had only these as an option, so this is what we bought. I empty out the water and the soap into the bin. Every bin has a container next to it to catch any of the leaching. This is very important, so your leaching does not go into the ground. And I empty them out into the right bins. That way I do not mix up poo years. Your, your bins should be moist and not totally drenched. We were skeptics at first. Actually, we knew nothing about this, how it works, because we had never done anything like this before. But we read this book that really, really helped clear things up for us. And it was the first time we actually heard of the word 
hummus used for cured poo and not for the delicious dip. The book is called The Human Your Handbook, Shit in a Nutshell, by Joseph Jenkins. And if anyone is interested in checking it out, we have put two links, one for the Amazon UK and one the USA. And if you want to buy it and buy it through our link, you will help us out a little bit because Amazon will give us a tiny percentage of that sale. This first compost bin looks ready to harvest. It looks amazing. So rich. It's so black. And I'm dying to use it on the trees, but we are going to wait till um, the spin is almost full. And then we will harvest the first bin and start on that one again. Start filling up that one again. Now I cover it with straw. Sometimes I use leaves and sometimes I use both. Did you know that the average person flushes over 11,000 litres of water a year down the toilet? That's a lot of litres of water. And that's how much we are saving, which makes me very proud to be doing this. This bucket that I've been cleaning the broom in between every compost bin wash, I also throw it in the bin. I make sure that nothing that I use for these bins do I throw on the ground. In summer we water the bins, but in winter we don't. We just open the lid if we know it's going to rain. We let the rain do its job and then close it again when we think it's got enough water. For the final rinse I wait, so then I can wet the straw on top. Now I just leave them to drip dry and I give a quick wash to the outside of the bucket too. And I let the sun do the rest. Now if I feel that the straw is not wet enough, I just give it another little splash of water with the hose and then cover it up. But this system is really easy to set up. Um, all you need is some pellets, black plastic and the collection container and something you can use as a lid. Luke is planning to upgrade to a double vault composting toilet and with this you won't have to empty any buckets and the the bins are much much bigger so it will take you a lot longer to fill them. There's two bins that so you poop in one and when one is full you change toilets and you poop in the other one and while you're pooping in the other one the first bin has enough time to to break down and then cure. So now I close the gate to minimize the number of animals going next to it. I mean obviously a few animals can jump this gate but at least it keeps Molly away and it also keeps the pigs away so that's good. <laughs> okay so now they are all clean. I wanted the sun to do the work but it, they, it has been raining for a few days so I have to try and make this quick <laughs> because it's going to start pouring again any minute. Now once they're clean I disinfect the rim because we do sit on this, so I want I want to get rid of any bacteria that's lurking on the bucket. <clears throat> I will wait a few minutes with the spray on it, and then I will wipe it off. I dis I disinfect the handles too. Now what I do is put a layer of sawdust on the bottom, so the bottom is protected. We get the sawdust for free. Um, we used to buy sawdust, but now we found someone who will give it to us. We can go and collect it and we take as much as we want. So now it doesn't cost us anything for sawdust, which is amazing. And now it's ready to use. So I pop it under here. Or kick it rather. Kick it under. And now I'm ready to sit down and do business on the toilet. <laughs> what do you want? Ah. Whoa. Okay, we're both going to do on the toilet. <laughs> Molly wants to be in the video as usual. Molly. Molly. Sometimes I'm not joking. I, it, it's amazing here with an amazing view. I have Molly. She, she kind of, she just never comes on me like this. This is the first time, but I guess it's because I'm talking to the camera. But there'll be Timmy sitting here, and yeah, it's a whole party when we need to poo. Hey, my beautiful view and so nice company. <laughs> and that's it. It's really, really easy and and really, really clean actually, and um, not even smelly. I already said this, but it isn't. And then I just put the, the lid on for extra protection because it's true, we, we learned from our mistakes. We used to just cover it with the lid, but we ended up getting insects in it that laid their eggs and it's not very nice. 
so this works very well if you like what you saw give us a thumbs up because it will help us show on the algorithm and if we show on the algorithm it will keep showing our videos and we will keep doing better and better we love pooping in this bucket but um, Luke is also working on a new toilet for the gypsy caravan where you poop inside and well when you where you poop indoors and it's a vermicomposting toilet so it would work with worms and yeah look out for that video because it will come in a couple of weeks it will be ready and we'll film it for sure because we film everything now in our life <laughs> well not everything but a lot of things and um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to follow our journey subscribe what are you waiting for and this week we got a new patron so welcome to our patron family dad if you want to know more about Patreon and you want to support us further, head on to patreon.com and look for Luke and Sarah's Off Grid Life. So thanks for watching and have a great day.